In this demonstration, we're going to look at how a Tanzu Kubernetes grid workload cluster is able to get access to the embedded harbor image registry that is available with vSphere with Tanzu. So at the moment, we're looking at the supervisor cluster. We have a number of different namespaces. And this namespace here is for the embedded harbor image registry, which we can see is already enabled. And we can verify that by just looking in the inventory here. So under the cluster, under configure, if we come down to image registry, you can see that it's already up and running. So you can see the link to the Harbor UI. Let's go ahead and open that. And we can use the vSphere SSO account that is linked. You can see it here. And we go, we have a number of projects already. This is one for the Cormac namespace. So that's the namespace I'm going to be working in. If I look in that namespace, I can see that I have two images, a BusyBox and a Photon one. And at the demonstration, we'll use the BusyBox one. So once again, the whole objective here is that while we can access that Harbor image registry from the Cormac NS namespace, uh, it's not possible to access it directly from the TKG cluster that has been deployed in that namespace. And so what we're gonna show you is how you can actually pull images into pods that have been deployed onto the TKG cluster. Okay, so we're going to switch to the UI. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look for, or we're, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to log in to the Cormac NS namespace. I'm just going to repeat something that's in my history to do that. Cool, we're in. Okay, I'm going to switch contexts to the Cormac NS namespace. Great. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to get the secrets that are available within this namespace. So we can see that there's an image pull and an image push secret. So we're going to retrieve the image pull. So the way to do that is we'll do a kubectl, a get secret, name of the secret, and we'll display that as YAML. So you can see here that you have the uh, Docker config in JSON, um, but you have all the details here. The namespace we'll have to change and the name we probably want to change as well. So the idea is that we will take this secret that's available at the Cormac NS namespace level, and we will bring that secret into the TKG cluster. And that will then allow that particular cluster to access the embedded harbor image registry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this again, and I'm going to save it to a file. And we will call that namespace image pull secret, okay. So I will cut that out. Excellent. So we have our secret. So the next thing I want to do now is I'm just going to modify that and I'm going to change the namespace and I'm going to change the name as well so that it's applicable to our TKG cluster. So I've already created the YAML or made the changes to the uh, secret, the YAML secret. So if I have a look here, I can see that I've changed the namespace to default and I have changed the name to Harbor Registry uh, Secret. So now what I need to do is I need to change contexts out of the Cormac NS namespace and log into the context, which is the TKG cluster. So once again, I will use my history commands to grab that. So I'm going to do a kubectl CTL vSphere logout of the current contexts and log into our new context and take this one. Excellent, well, I have the new context available and I will just use it now, which is the TKG cluster. And we can verify that with a very quick get notes. Excellent. Let me show you a few demonstrations. Uh, let's have a look at this BusyBox pod. So if I attempt to do this now, if I attempt to create this pod, okay. Okay, so it's trying to come up. So let's have a look at the events. So I will try and look at 
the events for this BusyBox pod. So that's this one. Okay, so it looks like I'm stuck on the Docker rate limiting issue. So this is it actually trying to go out to the Docker Hub and pull the image directly from Docker Hub. So that's no good for us. So let's delete that pod again. Okay. And now let's do one that actually has no secrets. So let's have a look at this one. So this is going to attempt to pull from my Harbor image registry from the Cormac NS namespace, and it's going to try and pull the BusyBox image from there. So let's go ahead and apply this one. Okay, that got an error image pull. So let's see what the problem is with that one. And this one is called HRBR. Secret. Okay, and now we have insufficient scope authorization failed. So this brings us to how we solve this particular issue and allow the TKG cluster to be able to pull images from the embedded Harbor image registry. So let me go ahead and delete that one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create the secret that we just pulled from the namespace level. So secret isn't applied at the moment. We're going to apply it at the default uh, namespace within the TKG cluster. Let's check. So the secret is now there. And we do have another busy box, which actually also pulls from the Harbor image registry but it also includes a reference to the Harbor Registry secret that we just created. So now let's go ahead and apply that one. And let's once again check the events. And success, we have pulled the image from the embedded Harbor image registry into the TKG cluster. And that completes the demonstration.